further high. That's as far as it goes. You're not going to get anything higher than that. You don't care about anything else. You just want another one and another one and another one. So we've been doubling down on the heroin epidemic in the state of New Jersey and bringing our viewers some personal stories of those suffering and those that have been affected. Now, I've been in touch with a woman named Gail O'Brien. She lost a son uh, to heroin addiction, and she's made it her life's work to help those in need. Now, she provided me with a list of people that might be willing to talk to me and tell me their stories. So I was looking at this list, and bam, one name jumps right off the screen. Larry Dunn. I was friends with someone of that name in high school and I haven't talked to him in about a decade. Reluctantly I called. To my surprise it was in fact the same Larry Dunn. After hearing his story I had to share what the past decade of his life has been since high school. And it was fun in high school. Yeah, it was. I like that too. Best years of my life. After high school, Larry was in a horrific car accident. He was at Laurel Lane's bowling alley in Mount Laurel uh, with some friends. He was 19 years old. When he left, the driver that he was with was intoxicated and he was speeding. We took a short drive from there to the exact spot where Larry's life changed for the worse. That was the beginning of the worst night of my life. The telephone pole that was hit at over 100 miles an hour on a 15 mile an hour road. He broke his back in two places, broke ribs, his clavicle, he had a serious concussion. He was taken to virtual hospital, then he was airlifted at Cooper Medical where he finally woke up. His addiction started with prescribed Percocet in small doses. And as the pain got stronger, so did the pain meds, along with the dosage being raised constantly and considerably in a very short time. Being a victim in the accident, Larry received a settlement from the insurance company of the car. $90,000. So after you sign that check, the insurance companies, they wipe your hands clean to you. They're not going to pay for any of your medical treatment. So Larry thought that $90,000 would last him through this ailment and more. No longer getting prescriptions, he still needed his pain medication. He turned to the underground dealers for his fix. Buying 500 pills at a time just to have them. Yeah. They'd be gone in days. Wow. The $90,000 was completely gone in seven and a half months. With no money and a burning need for a fix ingrained in his body and mind, he turned to heroin, like a lot of other people do. Somebody introduced me to Camden, Camden, New Jersey. He took me to a spot, and I did my first bag of heroin. We drove through North Camden to the exact place of his lowest point, the place he would shoot up after he scored trash everywhere, even a hypodermic needle sitting on the ground. Watching him silently look around this hellhole moved me. So many emotions must have been running through his mind looking back at these endless nights of addiction. Larry is now clean and he's ready to tackle his life. I'm happy. I'm happy that I don't go through this anymore. And what I wanna to say to anybody struggling is there's help out there. You just gotta ask for it and take initiative to go get it. You gotta want it. You really gotta want it for yourself. It's not impossible. If I can do it, you can do it. You definitely can. Larry, he's got a beautiful nine-year-old daughter and he's in a very stable relationship at this point. He's going back to school on Monday and uh, he's looking good.